The United States has said it would deploy Coast Guard ships in the Western Pacific for maritime security missions. This is in response to illegal fishing and harassment from China. White House National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien said in a statement on Friday that the U.S. Coast Guard is strategically homeporting significantly enhanced fast response cutters in the Western Pacific. Viewers may note that the term homeporting refers to basing a ship permanently in a certain port. This will be a major pushback against China. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the United States plans to thwart Chinese maritime militia by deploying enhanced Coast Guard ships in the Western Pacific. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea through its so-called Nine-Dash Line Map. It says that it has indisputable sovereignty over the sea. The wide-reaching demarcation was rejected by an arbitral tribunal at The Hague in July 2016. It's important to note that several countries, which include Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan, have disputed Chinese assertions and have overlapping claims of their own. But China has used its muscle to intimidate smaller nations in the region. The United States has repeatedly accused China of breaking international law by sending warships as escorts for Chinese fishing vessels into other countries' fishing waters. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper said in July that there has been a catalog of bad behavior in the South China Sea over the previous months and accused the Chinese military of several misdeeds, including the sinking of a Vietnamese fishing boat. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said recently, Beijing's claims to offshore resources across most of the South China Sea are completely unlawful, as is its campaign of bullying to control them. He further added, the PRC's predatory worldview has no place in the 21st century. Countries like the US, Japan, India, and Australia have no claims but want freedom of navigation. It's to be noted that the U.S. Navy has regularly conducted what it calls freedom of navigation operations close to some of the islands that China occupies that have been claimed by other nations. China has often used the People's Armed Forces maritime militia to scare away fishing boats from other nations. The People's Armed Forces maritime militia is essentially an extension of the People's Liberation Army Navy. Article 36 of the China Military Service Law of 1984, revised in 1998, empowers the militia to undertake the duties related to preparations against war, defend the frontiers, and maintain public order, and be always ready to join the armed forces to take part in war, resisting aggression, and defend the motherland. China's 2013 Defense White Paper enhanced the maritime militia's role in asserting sovereignty and backing up military operations. Though Beijing has downplayed the role of this organization, over the years it's been very active and has carried out corrosive acts on several occasions. Last year, the Armed Forces of the Philippines confirmed that it had monitored 275 individual Chinese vessels swarming near Thitu between January and March. Manila even filed protests with Beijing over their presence. Interestingly, satellite imagery from March to April showed another cluster of Chinese vessels converging near Philippine-held features Lueta K and Lueta Island. As pointed out by several experts, this kind of undertaking by the militia is part of the Chinese salami-slicing strategy. 
This strategy aims for the slow accumulation of small changes. China's strategy relies on low intensity but constant and simultaneous small provocations at multiple pressure points. This serves to stretch thin the capabilities of smaller nations like the Philippines and Vietnam to respond, while limiting the risk of escalation to a manageable level. Over the last few years, the activities of People's Armed Forces Maritime Militia have come under scrutiny and now a response is being initiated. White House National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien's statement added that the U.S. was a Pacific power and that China's illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing and harassment of vessels operating in the exclusive economic zones of other countries in the Indo-Pacific threatens our sovereignty, as well as the sovereignty of our Pacific neighbors and endangers regional stability. O'Brien said the vessels will conduct maritime security operations, including protecting fishing boats and enhanced maritime domain awareness and enforcement efforts in collaboration with regional partners who have limited offshore surveillance and enforcement capacity. In addition, even more of the boats could be stationed in American Samoa, pending a survey in 2021. The security official said, if the survey is favorable, the United States could further expand its presence in the South Pacific. Ahead of the statement, the U.S. National Security Council tweeted a photo of Mr. O'Brien speaking to American Samoa's Governor Lolo Matalasi Moliga over the phone. The captions claimed the conversation was about an upcoming announcement on actions that will advance security and prosperity in the Pacific Islands. In the report submitted to Congress annually, the Pentagon has stated, the PRC has the largest navy in the world with an overall battle force of approximately 350 ships and submarines, including 130 major surface combatants. In comparison, the U.S. Navy's is approximately 293 ships as of early 2020. Speaking at a press conference, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for China, Chad Spragia, said that China was on course to expand its fleet to 360 vessels by the end of 2020. Viewers may note that in 2019, China had a 335 ship fleet, about 55 percent larger than in 2005. As per the recent Congressional Research Service report titled, China's Naval Modernization, Implications for U.S. Navy Capabilities, Background and Issues for Congress. The expansion of the People's Liberation Army Navy has been in the news, but the activities of the People's Armed Forces Maritime Militia have not drawn much attention in the mainstream media discussions, and this has been taken advantage of by the Chinese military. The cover is blown now, and a new dimension will be added to the Pacific conflict in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.